Hello learners, in our previous programs we have discussed about how our earth came in existence and what conditions were available for the survival of life on our earth planet. During the evolution of life on earth, firstly simple forms were originated, later on fungi, algae, plants and animals including mammals evolved. Humans is also belongs to mammalia class and scientific name of humans is homo sapiens. I am Neelam Gupta. Welcome you in this program. Learners, today we will discuss a lesson number 3, Degradation of Natural Environment. This will be discussed in two parts. Humans evolved about 2 million years ago and since then they have depended upon nature for all their needs, be it for food, shelter or protection and more recently for their growth toward material comforts. These resources were in abundance then. However, with increase in human population, these natural resources have started being drawn at an increasing rate. Today, it has reached a level of exploitation to meet our greater demands. Harmful effects of this reckless exploitation is all around to see in the form of natural disasters. In this lesson, you shall learn how human activities degrade and deplete the natural resources and thereby harm the environment that we are dependent upon. We the humans are among the biotic component of the environment. In other words, we can be separated from the environment as an independent entity. Moreover, we draw all our requirements for survival from the earth or nature, be it oxygen for respiration or food for nutrition and energy or shelter to save ourselves from predators. We also dispose of waste into the environment the ability of nature are amazing. We have already given you an idea about humans, how appeared on earth, how they obtained their food, clothing and other substance from nature, how humans started life as nomadic hunter and gatherers to begin a settled life and make shelters for themselves. Around 12,000 years ago, humans learned to grow their food and then began to sell the surplus to others, surplus crops were transported to other places and for transportation they discovered wheel. Transportation became easier. Humans moved to newer places to raise new crops and also begin to domestic animals. While primitive humans were mining flint to make tools, they came across metal ores and mining and refining metals by heating began. They made a lot of articles with bronze, tin and later with iron. Soon they embarked on manufacturing activity and industrialization began thus. Rapid expansion of industrialization has resulted in depletion of natural resources and pollution of the environment. The very survival of humans is now threatened because of environmental degradation. So that the objective of the today's program are explain the concept of environment degradation and factors that cause it, describe how exploitation of natural resources leads to environmental degradation and factors that cause it, discuss how population growth, deforestation and urbanization has adversely affected the environment. Now come to the concept of environmental degradation. What is environmental degradation? It is the deterioration of the environment through depletion of resources such as air, water and soil, the destruction of ecosystem and extinction of wildlife. So we can define environmental degradation as, it is defined as any change or disturbance to the environment perceived to be deleterious or undesirable. It is caused by the combination of an already very large and increasing human population, continually increasing economic growth and application of resource depletion and polluting technology. We the humans are among the biotic component of the environment. In other words, we cannot be separated from the environment as an independent entity. Moreover, we draw all our requirement for survival from the earth or nature be it oxygen for respiration or food for nutrition and energy or shelter to save ourselves from predators. We also dispose of waste into the environment. The ability of nature are amazing. Now, welcome to the next section that is reckless exploitation of natural resources led to environmental degradation. It means there exists an ecological balance in nature, the interaction between a biotic and biotic component 
are so fine tuned that there exists an equilibrium in nature. Uncontrolled human activities caused damage to the environment and interfered with this equilibrium. Some examples of human activities that led to environment degradation are shown in a figure. These are various activities which are responsible for environmental degradation. There is enough of everything on earth for man's need but not for man's greed. Before we go about environmental degradation, firstly we will take about what includes to form nature. What is nature? The mountains, the seas, the rivers and lakes, the forest and the plains. Humans have over the years increased alarmingly in numbers. So forests have been cut to make place for human habitation, cultivation of crops, erecting industries and using wood for fuel and furniture. Now comes the forest. Forest being cut down for so many activities you can see in the figure. Forests are natural resources but they have been cut down for use by humans for converting them into the cultivable field for building houses and for taking away logs for making shelters and furniture or fuel. The rate at which trees are cut far exceeds the rate at which tree grow. So forests are getting denuded. Deforestation removes tree. Trees are carbon sinks and take away carbon dioxide. The greenhouse gas for photosynthesis, no trees. So carbon dioxide accumulates in the atmosphere and cause global warming. Roots of the trees hold the soil in place. Trees have gone so there is frequent soil erosion and landslides. Also evapotranspiration is an event of the water cycle. No trees, no transpiration, so no rains. Next is soil erosion. Trees lost lots of water through transpiration. This helps in forming rain clouds. Cutting of trees and clearing of forest reduce rainfall in the area. Also removal of plants and trees leads to soil erosion. Now next come to the wildlife. Forests are natural habitats of wildlife. Extinction of wildlife species is on the rise because their natural habitats are being destroyed due to deforestation. Or we can say many wild animals live in forest. Their homes are lost and many have became extinct or are on the verge of extinction. For details you will study in our next program. Now we come to energy sources. Overuse of non-renewable resources such as coal, natural gas and petroleum is leading to their depletion. Next is acid rain. Figure shows acid rain falling on the glass. On the other hand, polluting the natural environment is excessive burning of coal, wood, kerosene, petrol etc. Release toxic gases such as sulfur dioxide, oxides of nitrogen, carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons in the air. These gases are also emitted by industries, power plants, automobiles and aircrafts. The toxic gases pollute air which adversely affects human health and plants. Acid water from mines, toxic waste of industries, chemical fertilizers and pesticides from agricultural field have polluted rivers and other water bodies. Next, causes of soil pollution. The problem of soil pollution is increasing day by day in villages, cities and industrial areas due to faulty disposal of solid and liquid waste generated from households and industries. Thus humans have spoiled the environment by depleting natural resources to a critical level and causing pollution to natural water bodies and land areas. Now we come to our next section that is impact of population growth on environment. Impact of population growth on environment shows in figure. There are several causes. 5 million people live in the world at the time when agriculture began about 12,000 years ago. The population in our country alone is now well over 1 billion. It means enormous increase in human population is making the future of humans insecure. Now comes to the factors leading to rise population. Factors leading to rise of population are improved agriculture protection help in increased for population and thus more food became available. Second, progress in medicine not only prevented death due to epidemics and injuries but make early diagnosis and 
treatment of disease is possible, thus longevity increased. Next is impact of population growth on environment. With growing population, requirement for space, shelter and commodities have exerted enormous pressure on the environment. To provide for these, land use has changed dramatically. It has already been seen that forests have been cleared for cultivation of grain and fruit crops. Clearing land for cultivation to grow more food, forests and natural grasslands have been converted to farmlands. Wetlands have been drained and arid lands have been irrigated. These changes have been made to grow more food and more raw materials, but in doing so, the natural resources have been depleted and the landscapes have undergone drastic changes. For example, forests have been cleaned over large for cultivation of agriculture crops. Many mangrove forests known to reduce erosion and stabilize shorelines have been cleared, used for growing food crops to meet the needs of the growing population. Next is water scarcity. Water received as rainfall flows into rivers, lakes and other water bodies. Some of it seeps into the underground and reach the groundwater. At certain depths of the soil, all the pore spaces between soil particles are saturated with water. This depth is called water table ages. The water table may remain stable if the drawn from the groundwater is replenished by the seepage of the rainwater. But if water withdrawal exceeds beyond the rate of replenishment of the groundwater table, keep on receding and resulting in drying out of wells. In many areas, excessive withdrawal has depleted groundwater resources causing acute water scarcity. Next is need for human settlements. Apart from excessive land use, Changes for growing food, large population means greater requirement for shelter. To make houses for so many, stones and other building materials have to be queried. More rocks have to be blown off and more water to be used. Next is need for transport. Elaborate network of transport is required to fulfill the growing need of teeming millions. Various modes of transport have been developed which consume growing quantities of fossil fuels such as coal, gas and petroleum, polluting the atmosphere. Next is need for various commodities, articles of everyday use such as plastic vessels, mugs, buckets, etc. Agricultural implements, machinery, chemicals, cosmetics, etc. are manufactured in factories. The raw materials and fossil fuels and water needed to run industries for making these products lead to their depletion. Rapid industrialization has also led to pollution from dumping of industrial effluents into river and other water bodies. Next, rapid industrialization has caused much damage to the environment. Mining activities have depleted stock of mineral resources, particularly fossil fuels. Present day, Industrial civilization is becoming a burden on nature and it is time for us to learn to live in harmony with nature. Next is slum development. Overpopulated areas result in congested roads and slum formation which lacks basic amenities like drinking water, drainage, waste disposal, lack of hygienic conditions and filthy environment create potential conditions for public health problems including spread of epidemic diseases, discharge of untreated effluents and throwing of waste into water bodies have polluted most of the lakes and rivers. Pollution resulting from overpopulation, that is Holy River, Ganga, Yamuna and other suffering from pollution due to discharge of effluents from literacies, human settlements, bathing, washing of clothes and throwing of garbage into the river. You can see this figure people bathing in river Ganga. Next section that is deforestation and its consequences. This figure shows causes of deforestation. Forests are found all over the world except the polar regions. Originally forests cover one third of the land area. You have already learned that since the beginning of human evolution, they have depended on the forest resources. Forests are nature's major processors of solar energy. It can be for developmental activities, firewood, timber, pasture and shift cultivation etc. 
They provide habitat for diverse kind of organisms including large wild animals, primitive humans too, lived in forest and were completely dependent on forest for survival till they took to farming. Cutting of trees in forest is called deforestation. Deforestation has taken place for various purposes at an alarming rate in different parts of the world resulting in severe loss of wild plants and animals. Forests have been cleared for the various reasons. First is developmental activities. As humans begin leading a settled life, crop fields, building, roads, industries, schools, hospitals, railway and irrigation canals etc. became necessary developmental activities. Forests were cleared to meet the need for land needs for the above developmental activities. For timber and wood, wood is used in building construction, making furniture and other articles for human use. Trees that yield wood grow in the forest and were cut down for timber. Use of firewood for cooking and heating etc. also contribute to deforestation. Next for pasture. Forests are cleared to grow grasses and converted into grassland for grazing by cattle. Next is shifting cultivation. Shifting cultivation is a system of crop cultivation involving cleaning of forest and burning the fallen trees to clear the land for raising crops. This is continued process. Due to this, every year a new forest area is cleared for cultivation and same cycles is repeated. Now we come to the consequences of deforestation. There are several consequences, soil erosion, silting, climate change, loss of carbon dioxide, sink, landslide etc. We can take one by one in detail. First we take soil erosion, trees intercepts rainfall and cutting of trees and removal of plants leads soil erosion. Plants roots hold the soil in place with loss of protecting cover of plants, topsoil that is rich in organic matter is washed away and the soil lost its fertility. Second is landslide. Soil erosion ultimately caused landslide in hilly areas. This is because the roots that held the soil in position are no more there. Next is silting. As a loose soil from deforested land gets washed away with rain, it causes silting of rivers and lakes. Loss of habitat. Wild animals lived in forest. Cutting forest means loss of their habitat, which in turn renders them endangered or even extinct. Next is pollution. When trees are cut to use for making furniture or paper, the sawmills and paper mills pollute water in which they dump the waste. Deforestation results in change of climate since trees make the surroundings humid. Loss of trees leads to loss of humidity, also transpiration from plants makes rainwater clouds and so rainfall is reduced due to deforestation. Next is loss of carbon dioxide sink, pollutants released by industries, carbon dioxide is taken up by trees. When forests are denuded, this carbon dioxide sink is lost and carbon dioxide collects in the environment. Next is loss of medicinal and other useful plants. Unique medicinal plants grow in certain forests. They are lost due to deforestation. Aromatic herbs, rubber trees and other useful plants are also lost due to deforestation. Thus forest destruction leads to large scale environmental degradation. Now we come to the end of this program. Now it's time to remember that what we have learned so far be summarized in the form of what you have learned. First, we depend on environment for survival as it gives us oxygen to breathe, food to eat and water to drink. We also get fiber, medicines, fuel etc. from environment as growth of human population spread of became agrarian culture and industrialization lead to the environmental degradation in two ways, depletion of natural resources and pollution of the environment that is air, water and soil pollution. Natural resources have been depleted through deforestation, excessive use of fossil fuels, mining etc. Air has been polluted by toxic gases emitted from motor vehicles, toxic waste discharged into water bodies. Better medical facilities and food for all has increased longevity and cut down infant mortality and death due to epidemics. This has resulted in increase in population. Demands of increased population like land for housing and cultivation of food crops, industrialization, 
fossil fuels as source of energy resource for industries and homes, ground water have been depleted and air, water and soil polluted. Humans have cut down trees and cleared forests to obtain firewood and timber and to get land for agriculture and human settlements. Deforestation has resulted in serious loss of biodiversity. Environment is something which we did not inherit from our ancestor but have borrowed it from our children. Human's life and clear healthy environment are the two most valuable possessions but the degraded environment has spelt doom for environment and consequently human survival. Think green. Thank you.